Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands, My John Readings. This reading is for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the upcoming week of October 28th, 2019. We got Halloween coming, oh yes. Also the Celtic um, pagan holiday. A lot of people who are into astrology uh, may celebrate that as well. <laughs> also on that day, we have a nice gift from the universe of Mercury going retrograde. I've already been feeling that, of course. Um, so again, that's issues with uh, technology, communication, travel, and it's retrograde in, ta-da, Scorpio. <laughs> so we got the new moon in Scorpio, the sun in Scorpio, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, right? Um, so just a time of, of us really kind of dealing with the darkness, dealing with the shadow self, dealing with stuff that we don't want to deal with for ourselves. Um, November also begins a five universal month. So that's about change, it's about freedom, it's about spontaneity, right? And in order to enjoy all those things, you gotta do what? You gotta take risks. So just be aware of those energies, new opportunities that may come to you as a result of your having taken risks. What are the major things for my fire signs for the upcoming week of October 28, 2019, please? I almost said December. I almost put us in December. Well, those two came out. I'm going to roll with it. Healing right out the gate. So angel number 3227. All of that. 3227. Fire sign. See if it resonates with you. I think this is really interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, so. With the three. Bamboo. Two bamboo. Huh. Okay, relationships, change in relationships, sudden change in relationships, fire signs. Healing. He's making wishes that he don't know if they're going to come true, right? This toad is kind of looking off and kind of, I got to say it, fire signs. Y'all might be going after something that's not meant for y'all. We're going to keep going, but that's so far with that toad. It just looks like he's waiting for a train that ain't never going to come. Right, like he gassing himself up. It's like, no, Toad, you, but you know better. You know that this is never going to happen, right? But you're just sitting there waiting, waiting, and you're ignoring the signs around you, particularly in a relationship or something that you think will make you happy. Two wands, sword. So with the sword, it can mean sacrifices or sudden, what did I tell you? Sudden change, sudden severance. We'll see what it's about. We'll, we'll clarify. Another two. So again, all this partnership, all this Libra energy that we were in, um, could have kind of thrown you off fire signs to be honest it could have diluted you right especially if you have a lot of uh, Pisces in your chart right it could have diluted you into thinking that things were a way that they actually are not right you could have gotten to a real dreamy again cuffing season fall it's cold I think this person is this and actually they not you just saw what you wanted to see oh and now you're waiting for the change that's never gonna come because you saw what you wanted to see Wow Wow, 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 wow. And then, with, yep, damn, look at all these twos. Look at this. Two ducks in here. Two men fighting in a sword and two insects. All two energy. All partnership energy, y'all. All about balance. But that's interesting for fire signs. Look at that. Those, these insects are just moving. They just in motion, right? Seven is a very spiritual number, yes. But guess what? These things are just in motion. Insects ain't, they not necessarily getting stuff done. Right? They're not necessarily uh, productive. They're just moving. So uh, you might be in a situation where you it's not what you think it is. You think you're getting stuff done. You think you're on the move. Again, it could be with the person specifically. And it's like, no, this is not going nowhere. Again, waiting for a train that ain't never going to come. So you could be dealing with the person. You're like, oh, I just met them. And it seems cool. And this is my, this is going to be, you know, this is going to progress to this. And it's like, no, little do you know, this person has no intention on ever progressing past where it is now they may even regress they may even take you backwards that could uh, also deal with it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic but the peaches here it could it could be with jobs bam or friends bam anything where somebody has ulterior motives and you thinking like oh yeah this is a great business partnership okay cool yeah you do this and i do this so you in your mind are thinking of all the brilliant ways that this is gonna you know unfold and in their mind they're like no i'm just here to get what i'm getting like, I have no intention of doing that, right? Bam! Somebody, wow, that just went home for somebody. Okay, so hit home. <laughs> Eight bamboo mushroom. Things unexpected. Something out of the ordinary, right? 
happening that you don't see coming in romance in romance that could also mean something that you don't see coming that you have to make a sacrifice for right it could be something good it could be good um but either way keep your wits about you and keep your money on you too Ooh, keep your money on you this is not the time to be flashing giving stuff away stunting you know treating people especially people that you don't know because people could have ulterior motives wow then you get the fire card it's crazy that i'm getting this message because these aren't bad cards but for somebody it could be one person that is that's your message this video was for you six wine fire could be dealing with another fire sign right or even a earth sign bam an earth sign pulling you trying to detract from your light right because you're a fire sign right you're naturally aggressive and bold and bright and um you take initiative right but then it could be an earth sign a virgo taurus capricorn who's kind of trying to pull you back down trying to snuff out your light and it could be in your family too but look if that's the case you gotta cut them off you have to look at all these twos this is undeniable two two the duck is a two all these twos the insect is a seven but it's two insects so y'all have all this energy y'all gonna have to reevaluate y'all gonna have to reassess the people around you the people that you call family the people that you call romantic partners the people that you call business partners people that you call friends two three two yeah this could be a person this could definitely be a person in your um this could definitely be a person in that's close to you look white card blank slate it's up to you the universe is trying to tell you something this may be your message or it may be coming but the universe they got your back they trying to tell you something look then you got this orchid i already done said what i said i said what i said look told stuff start repeating wow okay yeah i got this orchid i already knew something is better waiting for you something better is waiting for you remember last week's thing was the world must take you as you are i told you that now some of you probably you wanted to believe it but then you kind of going backwards right instead of dealing with these things that are come up to heal you are prolonging them so for example okay this is scorpio energy remember i told you we're healing old stuff we're, we're healing our shadow self in order for you to heal something you have to let it come to the surface first you can't heal nothing that you ain't dealing with that ain't in front of you right you cannot process it so in order for you to do that the universe may have triggered a relationship or a situation in your life to be healed right maybe an old person came or an old situation or circumstances and you were like okay cool this this means this is a sign that it's meant to be no y'all no it's not a sign that's meant to be it's a sign that you're supposed to heal that don't take the bait right the same thing is gonna keep happening unless you learn your lesson look at this pearl she has everything she has everything she don't need nothing she has her wits about her, her intuition she has money she's balanced young girl she has her youth her beauty all that she takes initiative what aries but she's impacted by this guardian right there's some issues she's having some problems feeling good in her decisions she's having some problems with herself she's second guessing herself right she don't see her wealth she don't see her worth she's not following her intuition she's looking at her damn self somebody's mad <laughs> like <laughs> she's looking at herself instead of listening to her own intuition right what do i want getting caught up in the ego when the universe is trying to tell you that that ain't right look the orchid is saying the same thing i told y'all last week strive for the best you deserve the greatest look two women both represent extravagance and youth and beauty and look at the two men who are here this is deep look at the two men the sword fighting arguing telling you to cut some shit off to make a sacrifice i don't even curse this much but something is really coming through be beautiful be in your splendor keep going what you're dealing with now is just a test that ain't even it then you got the three bamboo toad repeating it was a healing situation it was a test y'all it was a test for you to go to the next level that's all it was you see that b in the shot it was a test that's all that's it ultimately you are writing your own story same thing i told water signs you are writing your own story you are coming out of the shadows Leo A, be who you are. This is a dawn of a brand new day. 
it is up to you. You are writing this. Life is a game. Life is but a dream. You are writing this. You in control, ultimately. It's all about you. It's all about you. Don't make your life about other people with all those twos. I warned y'all about the Libra, the shadow side of Libra. Getting too, being too accommodating to other people. Ignoring warning signs. That was a heavy message. I literally am hot. <laughs> all right, Leo. Two circles pine. You got another two. Angel number 202, Leo. Look it up. See if it resonates with you. You need to take some time to think. You need to think. You need to think. You need to write down your next step. I know Leos usually don't do that. They're the kings of the jungle and queens, right? They just charge in and kind of shop. Like, this is how this going to go. This is how this going to go. Not in Scorpio energy, you're not, Leo. <laughs> I told y'all that. We got to move a little differently when Scorp so much Scorpio energy around us, with so much water energy around us, right? It's about being stable in yourself. He has this pine tree behind him. The whole universe has his back. And you had the white card, Leo. So bring stability for yourself. Become stable in who you are and what you want, your goals, right? What you will and you will not accept. And then take action. All right, Sagittarius. Okay, you got the commence card. Angel number 2323, Sag. Look it up. See if it resonates with you. You poised to start something beautiful and brilliant. You just got to get over this, these small little th obstacles. That mean they little. You headed in the right direction. You got your head on straight. Your eyes are on the prize. Just don't get tripped up in your new beginnings, right, with this new moon, that everything you've created this. The universe has helped you create this, right? Using your natural uh, positivity um, of the Sagittarius, you created something amazing. Don't get tripped up over obstacles that you have already seen, that you have already dealt with. I told you that. These rocks been there. You didn't already dealt with them. They don't trip you no more. You stand on them. You use them as leverage to get you to the next level. But do not lose sight of what you got your focus on and end up tripping over the very rocks that you already knew was there. Ooh, that just came out. We'll keep that card. For Aries. Two circles pine, Aries. Angel number 212. Hmm. This is about you being in your youthful energy. So whatever you're dealing with may have been heavy, right? The decisions that you have to make. Uh ah, you may have been dealing with a situation where you had to be the bigger person, you had to be the more mature person, despite maybe you have may have even been older than this person, right? Not necessarily it doesn't have to be romance. Again, it could be in a work business situation, whatever. Um, now they're telling you to be who you are. Remember, the world has to accept you as you are. So if you're younger and you have more youth and, and vibrancy, be that. Don't change because the person that you're dealing with or the situation requires you to be, you know, somebody that you're not, even if you think that this is a good thing for you. Know that the whole universe has your back. There's a be near me. The whole universe. Sweetness. Be light about life. Let things come to you. Take the time to think about what you want before you go charging in, Aries. This is two energy, right? And we're bringing that into five universal months, right? Which is about change. So just be who you are. Make moves at your own speed, but make sure you're thinking before you make them because this is Scorpio energy. Woo, that was a long reading for y'all. All right, thank you for listening. Have a good week. Peace out.